A U.S. official has warned the efforts to end Sudan's conflict have reached a time of incredible urgency and urged the international community to meet the immediate humanitarian needs of the Sudanese people. From the Kenyan capital Nairobi, Ruben Chama reports. Tom Periello, the U.S. Department of State Special Envoy for Sudan and the Middle East, to demonstrate the priority U.S. ending the conflict in Sudan. At a time of incredible urgency, on this trip, we have been visiting with Sudanese across Uganda, Ethiopia, Kenya, Djibouti, and Egypt, as well as meeting with our African counterparts, and now visiting uh, with our counterparts in Saudi Arabia, and finally the United Arab Emirates. There are growing fears that the Sudan conflict could lead to new crises in a region battered by conflict and drought. Speaking during an online news briefing on Thursday, the U.S. diplomat said he met with a range of Sudanese civilians, including civil society, women and youth, to hear their perspectives on how to bolster efforts to respond to urgent needs and end the conflict. The Sudanese people could not be more unified and clear. They want an end to this war now. They want full humanitarian access and they want their future back. And it is our job, all of us who care about the people of Sudan, around the world, around this neighborhood and beyond, to be urgently seized with the project of ending this war, preventing the worst of this famine, and giving the Sudanese people a chance to determine their own future. On Wednesday, the United Nations warned that the brutal fighting in Sudan is driving a hunger crisis with some areas likely to experience catastrophic levels of food insecurity in the coming months. Periello gave more details. This is an urgent situation where we are seeing signs of famine already across uh, the, the country of Sudan. We have known about horrific atrocities, particularly against women and children, forced recruitment, even slavery in this conflict that must end. The conflict between the Sudanese army and the rival paramilitary rapid support forces has left 18 million people more than a third of the population facing acute food insecurity the un says up to 15,000 people have been killed since the fighting broke out in mid-april last year ruben chama voa news nairobi Unidentified assailants have taken the lives of 15 individuals in South Sudanese Pibor region, including the commissioner, according to a senior official on Wednesday. This incident marks an escalation of violence within the country. South Sudan battling with internal conflicts have faced significant turmoil since gaining independence from Sudan. The strife primarily along ethnic lines between Dinkers and Newers resulted in widespread casualties from 2013 to 2018. The fatal attack occurred on Tuesday as the commissioner of Boma County in Pibol was returning from a village visit. The commissioner and his team visited Nyat village and upon their return they were ambushed, resulting in the death of 15 individuals, including the commissioner, stated Abraham Kelang, the information minister of Greater Pibol administrative area. Kelang indicated that the perpetrators are suspected to be youth from the Anyuak community within the region. Those killed included Boma's deputy army commander, government officials and commissioners' bodyguards. Despite a peace deal brokered in 2018, clashes persist among various armed groups, leading to civilian casualties and displacement. The Greater Pibol administrative area remains particularly affected by such violence. Boma County, predominantly inhabited by the Mori ethnic group, frequently experiences sporadic violence, sometimes involving the Mori, Anyuak, Nor, or Dinka communities from neighboring Django State. The recurring conflict underscores the persistent challenges facing South Sudan in achieving lasting peace and stability.